Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard and today I'm going to show you my beautiful squash plants and just how nice they are doing and I do have one problem though there's not hardly any bees coming in so I'm having to hand pollinate my squash my zucchini squash and my pumpkin squash so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hand pollinate a couple of them for you now this one here is a male flower and you can see the little pistol they call it sticking up here so we're going to pick this flower okay and we're going to go over and find a female flower <coughs> and compare And here is a female flower and as you can see there's a complete difference in the way they look inside so there's the female here's the male and you can also see on a female of course compared to the bottom there's a little squash that is uh, waiting to get pollinated and of course on the male there is none so what I do is I literally and I'm going to set this down for a second. I literally just pull the flower part off. And then I take this part and I just rub it around where the little squash female parts are. And sometimes I just leave it in there. Okay. And that one is pollinated. Let's go do a pumpkin squash. I would do a zucchini for you, but they uh, don't have anything but males today blooming. There are no females blooming. Yep, that's a male. As you notice, there's a lack of bees here. And that's why I'm doing this. If I had enough bees, I wouldn't even worry about it. But here we go. So, this is the pumpkin squash and they're a vine and they're just running on the ground everywhere. And I've had a couple bloom today and I really need to pollinate them to get some pumpkin squash going. So I'm going to pick this one. This is a male. And we're going to go over to the female. And here is the female pumpkin squash. Now, I did see a bee in there, but we're going to go ahead and pollinate it. And I have another one that's going to bloom tomorrow, which I'll be back out here and pollinate. Okay, so we will put the camera right here. So now I'm going to open this one up. Let me see if I can get some pollen on my finger here. Yeah, I, I don't think this can be seen in the camera, but there's a little on my finger. Anyway, so now I'm going to take this and do the same thing I did with the yellow squash. I'm going to put it in there and twirl it around. And there you go. So that one I know is pollinated. And I should have pumpkin squash to harvest in maybe three or four days. If I just want to use it as a squash. If I want it as a pumpkin, I'll just have to leave it till the end of the season. Well, this is going to be a short video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.